around 10 41 a.m the sun is shining the snow is melting there's no snow on the roads no snow on the trees just a little bit on the grass so maryland didn't get as much as virginia did because virginia the snow is on the trees the snow is on the side of the road Woo so how are you all doing this morning are you going to church are you going to get your praise on? Yes, I am going to get my praise on. And I might even have time to stop and get me a nice hot tea from Dunkin' Donuts. Yes, that's what I'm going to need to pump me up and keep me going all day. Because I've been up since 5 o'clock this morning. 5 o'clock this morning. Five, 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 five o'clock this morning. Just watching videos, watching tutorials. Then I decided to get up, take my shower, and get myself together because I knew that I had to do this workout extra early this morning. So I did two workouts, matter of fact, for those that um, didn't know. So now I'm just trying to get on down this road and church and just be safe you know that's what you gotta do you gotta be safe sometimes well all the times you have to be safe welcome to Howard County hey, I'm just up at all as there is no snow on these tree leaves limbs because that's gone okay we going back over here y'all Gotta stay with the traffic that is flowing. Yes. And I bought the, everything for the, uh, my daughter. And I bought this one special lady who was one of my biggest cheerleaders in Baltimore. I gave her, bought her a shirt so she can represent. Hashtag one pound at a time. Hashtag one pound at a time. It's my journey. Yes, it's my journey, my weight loss journey. Yes. So I'm sure she's going to be surprised about that. And I know I said I'll probably go straight home, but I think I'm going to stop at the store. Oh, well, I forgot. I forgot, y'all. I'm supposed to be doing this secret Santa. And I got my box. I haven't even mailed theirs off. How, how about this? Not only have I not mailed it off, I haven't even brought it yet. Oh my gosh, y'all. I got so much to do. So, and I have all of these things in my car that I have to take to the post office tomorrow. So I will be probably going to Walmart and purchasing a lot of nice little goodies for her 18 month old reborn baby. Um, so I hope she likes everything that I purchased. I will be taking you all along with me. Y'all, is this the fat girl struggle? Because I have all this extra room in my seatbelt. Why won't it stay over there? Good gosh, it just that's one thing that just irks me. I'm like, goodness gracious, man, the fat girl struggles is really real. Whew. Or maybe it's my boobs or my stomach. I don't know. But it needs to get it together. What is this for me? Oh, it's an earring. Ooh, the earring fell out my ear. I was like, oh, what is that? I forgot to put my choker on. I forgot, I forgot, I forgot. Oh my goodness. But you know what? It's going to be okay. Yeah, it's going to be okay. Well, I'll send Alexis into the beauty supply store to get me some more. Because you know what? I don't know what I'd be doing with them. I sent them somewhere and I put them where they're supposed to go, but they just disappear. So I'm just thinking the ceiling fan just swirls them up like this and throws them somewhere. I don't know. So I have to get me some more because you all know I love my chokers, man. I love them. Here we go. Look, it just moved on again. I don't know what's wrong with it. Maybe if I sit it like that. <laughs> Y'all, I always come up with some foolishness, some straight up foolishness, but it is really a fat girl struggle. 
And y'all, it's getting closer and closer to going to Sacramento. And y'all, I am so still terrified of them daggone planes, man. <sighs> and you know what's so crazy about it? I live right by Dulles Airport. So all day, all night, I hear planes, I see planes. Oh my gosh. And then when I'm driving down 66 or 28, not 66, 28. I can just see them. It's just like they're so low, like they're just going to hit your car. Yes. Come on now. Come on now. It got to get better than that. Yes. I'm so happy I have not been in any traffic. Thank you, Jesus. And I'm praying 695 is, is going to be just as clear as all these roads that I've just been on. Y'all, I was a situation. I got two situations. I have two pairs of glasses and I sit my glasses in the same spot but ever since Thanksgiving my pink glasses have disappeared not only that has disappeared but I had a handheld um, tripod that I put my phone on that disappeared too, so I had to order some more. I had to order another one from Amazon. And y'all, everyone is loving the headbands. So I just ordered 30 more, um, all different colors, and I cannot wait for the design. This time the design is gonna be stitched on. Stitched, y'all. Did y'all hear me say stitched? Stitched on. <laughs> so I am super duper happy about that. I am so happy. She just over there burping. She must don't know that I'm recording. But y'all hear her? <coughs> but it's okay. It's alright. It's okay. And it's alright. Woo. We are just going right along, y'all. And this hair is so beautiful. I love it. I don't know if I'm going to cut it yet. I know I probably will. But y'all, this hat is something else. Oh my gosh, it is so beautiful. Beautiful, just like me. Yes, I have to tell myself that I am beautiful. I am gorgeous. I am hashtag one pound at a time, yes. When I get to church, I put my lippy on because I didn't want to put it on because I knew I was going to try to get me a hot tea. And who wants to... That's one thing I can't stand. How about y'all that wears lippies? Don't y'all be mad when y'all lipstick rub all off on the thing that you're drinking, the cup? Oh, that just burns me up. So I'm like, oh, I'm not even going to put it on. It's just not even going to put it on. I'm just going to put it on when I get to my destination. But it's really beautiful here in Baltimore. It was cloudy in um, Northern Virginia. But hopefully um, when I get home, if I decide to uh, vlog some more, uh, well, I don't know, because I might get home and the sun probably be going down, because you know, our days have been short. <laughs> understand some a little bit but not that much a truck yes because it's hard to reach but a car is unacceptable you better get that broom and sweep that um snow off to the right and to the left of that car that don't make no sense trifling or did they really think that the car was going to heat up and it was going to heat through the roof and it was just going to fall off let me get over before i miss my exit Come on, slow bug, because you're not going to let me over. You're not going to let me be great. But it's okay, because I'm not going to miss my turn. I see you driving a little slow, so let me just get in front of you. Oh, no, she's not getting ready to go to sleep, and we're at church. Oh, I think she's lost it. I think she's lost it. Yes, she has lost it. It has taken me one hour. Told y'all, it only takes 45 minutes to an hour.
for who you are. You've got to deal sometimes with the fear of rejection. And I've often said sometimes it's not really rejection. Sometimes it's just God redirecting your life. Yeah. Sometimes Amen. what you have to find as rejection, God is just redefining your life. Look at your neighbor, say neighbor. It's not rejection. It's not God is just redefining my life. He is closing this door because he's got a larger door. He is shutting this way because he has a broader way. He is shifting me out of this position to that position because he knows what is ahead. Give the Lord a shout of praise. Enough to give God the glory. I just want to thank you for another Christmas. I want to thank you for the Christ for us. Thank you, Lord. And the song with the announcement is simple. There's peace, peace, peace on earth. Glory to God in the highest. Peace on earth. Goodwill towards men. Verse 14. The peace that God gives is absolutely objective, perfect, and it is something that you have to receive on earth. It is something God wants to give to you, yes. And the only way to receive this peace is you have to admit you're at war. Because when you admit that you are at war, then you set yourself up for the peace of God. Look at your neighbor, say neighbor. I need his peace. And if anybody going through something whereby you just need the peace. I need, I need a calm in this madness that's going on in my family right now. I just need a calm. I just need some serenity. I just need to know that I have some peace of mind. If you are in here today and there is something that is going on in your life that demands a move of God, you are in the right place at the right time. I said if you are here in the house of God and it demands a move of God, you are in the right place at the right time. Yeah. Give the Lord one more shout. Oh, God. 